Libras. Libra energy, Libra collective. Y'all make it fit how it's supposed to fit. Pause, but listen, right? I may cuss, but I don't curse. We're going to do a love reading today. Four card draw. We're doing outcomes. Pause. And um, if you need my services or you know someone who wants my services, there'll be a link to my website in the description box. To take you there. But yo, check it out. I'm gonna do one more shuffle. We're gonna cut this deck. And we're gonna get into your love life. We're gonna dig into your business. Alright. This is the love situation at hand. Judgment in reverse. Let's talk about it. Let's unpack this. Okay, I'm getting that you may have a close friend that is in your ear. This may be your BFF, and they're like, yo, what do you see in them? Talking about your relationship, the love relationship that you're in right now. And you're feeling like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? But a part of you knows that your friend is on to something. You just want to be in disbelief. You don't want to believe it yourself. Despite you knowing that it resonates with what they're saying. And they're like... They're like, I know... It's, it's, it sounds like or feels like someone is cheating on you. That's what they call it, right? When someone has sex outside of the relationship, I'm feeling like that's what's happening with this person. They're having sex outside of the relationship and they're messy. They just messy as fuck. I'm gonna just keep it a beam with you. Like it's like it's like they don't even try to hide it. It's like they wanna get caught. It's kinda like one of those situations where the bad boy aura garners more pussy to them or more you know attention you know women will get the attention and all that it's just like they could be in a relationship but it's like they will not put their relationship on the back burner for their attention like they're going to post that twerking dance they're going to post that you know what i'm saying they're going to post that bikini pic with the long ass caption like i've learned in my life that trials and tribulations make us stronger as individuals and i see that ass i see that ass. we see that ass you have made your point clear And everybody's talking about this shit. It's like everybody knows. How are they going to know? They're going to know. They're going to. Yes, they're going to know. They know. And you're, I don't know why you're sitting there. It's either you're on some old. It's either, see, this is, this is interesting because you could be waiting for that person to get karma. But at the same time, you're on the chopping block for karma because you don't learn your lesson. You've been down this road before. And if it hasn't been with another relationship, it's been with this person in this relationship. Let me see what the obstacle is. Page of Cups. There's a lover, a younger lover, that has made a love offering to your cheating ass lover. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm not laughing at your pain, but yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm lying. Um, and that person, I'm going to keep it a beam with you. That person is a threat to y'all's relationship because they are a very kind person. They're intuitive. They uh, inspire your lover or y'all lovers, y'all's lover with um, ideas that they can embark on and you know what I'm saying? Um, they're the quiet in the background type. So they're, they, they're not looking for attention and stuff like that. They just seem to be more into them than they are of the type of fame and spotlight that can come from being with them. Because I told you, it's like everybody talks about this person you understand? 
And um, I think not only that, they have picked up on trouble in China, meaning they have information on y'all relationship. And it's like, they're kind of, they're looking at y'all's lover that y'all sharing. It's like both of y'all's. They're looking at it like it's a study for them. It's a project to learn about emotions and how people in love connections work. And they, I think they're more in love with that than they are actually with the person. You understand what I'm saying? I think they're just sharing who they truly are with that person and um, being themselves. And that's what has won that person over. And they're young and they're hot. Your person or y'all's person, it, it, it boggles their mind how someone else hasn't already picked that person up. Or they're not all over them drooling and their inboxes aren't filled up. But like I said, that person doesn't... It's not like they want some attention-seeking shit. This is the action recommended to take. Yeah, five of cups. Let me see. You gotta go... Not only do you gotta... You gotta go on your independent journey. You gotta... You gotta, you gotta cut your losses. You gotta choke this up. You gotta, you gotta wrap this up. It's time to wrap this up. It's time to wrap this up. Um... You're not supposed to go through this anymore. But you've got to get out in order to truly feel the pain. Because the more you stay in this relationship, I would call it toxic, but I feel like it's past toxic. Like, there's actually became more peace in your life because y'all don't... This person is out having their fun. They got a new young flame and all that little baddie. And I'm not saying you're not doing nothing at this point. I don't know. I don't see it in the cards, but you're looking at it like you ain't been know that this was doomed. You could have been got out, is what I'm saying. But yet you're having remorse over it. Yeah. The trauma is fucking with you. You're mourning over it, but still wanting to be in it. And it's not adding up. You got to go on this independent journey of your own, cut your losses. Um, take some action, say no. You gotta be by yourself. You need a period by yourself. Point blank. And, um, so you can feel it fully. I don't think you allowed yourself to really fully feel it because you're looking at it like, oh, I'm still in it. I'm still in You're not. That shit is doomed. If you're still in that and you want to still be in that, then you're kind of a sick puppy. I ain't even gonna hold you. But what's the outcome of for this? The Eight of Swords. You're gonna you're gonna play victim because of this. The outcome is you're gonna play victim, and you know what? You're gonna play victim because you can. Because you can. So I don't know if there's going to be some type of attention. Garnering that, but I can tell you this, you will get attention based upon this. It's going to be communicated in some type of way. You're going to obtain a larger audience. I'm getting, I'm getting like online communities is in your business and all them, like shade room type shit, whatever that is. Like I've never read it, but I've heard like people, it's a blog about people and their lifestyles and relationships and shit. So you're going to be you're going to be communicating like, oh, yeah, I went through this with so and so and so. And, you know, you're going to play the victim card. And now I'm feeling like this. I feel trapped because I don't know why you'd feel trapped or maybe they don't want to give you the divorce or they don't want to move out. They don't want to change the ownership on the deed, the title, the rental agreement. Um and you still feel like you're being punished for it because they don't want to totally let go. And there may be some truth to that. I don't know, but I'm just telling you how this is going to how this is going to play out. Like they still feel you're going to st say that you're still attached to them because of some type of agreement or some type of yeah, some type of bond, some type of bind some type of contract that y'all entered in together or something that y'all started together which has to finish before y'all can completely say that it's done. I'm out.